obstacle that I had to overcome made me tougher, made me sharper, and made me even more determined to climb to the top. Our weekends are when we have to be working. We have to be at the competitions when kids are competing. So sometimes it's it's getting away like on a Wednesday to be able to come down here and, and fish on a Wednesday. The, the great thing about our job is there's a little bit of flexibility in it. There's so much that it offers and so when you do have the opportunity to come, um, it's, a, it's a real treat. You add Didi to any, any event, any experience and you add life to it, right? Um, Didi is just the epitome of a Louisiana woman. Um, Donaldsonville raised her right and you know she celebrates the state as Yvette and I do. And Didi and I, and we've never fished all three together. Didi and I have fished, Fran and I have fished, Fran has fished with Didi, but the three of us have not fished together, no. Each of us have taken fishing trips with my assistant coach, Bob Moore, who fishes down. He doesn't fish down here, he catches down here. And uh, he has brought us both, uh, Yvette and I and, and Fran and I, fishing on separate occasions, but uh, never the three of us together, which was really special for us. Well, I, I fish down here a lot. You know, I uh, love Grand Isle. I love the, the, the coast. The whole thing we've got going here in South Louisiana is amazing. The, the best thing about today was we caught at the first stop, you know, and that gets the competitive juices rolling, that gets everybody fired up to, to compete and, and fish. And Oh, the, is, this a, is this a competition? Oh, the rodeo is on, okay. Last thing I want to do is compete with y'all today. Okay, y'all yeah. compete. Yeah, baby. The rookie is winning the rodeo. She sure is. 5:15, we met our met our captain, John Chauvin, and uh, and you know fished a lot of places that I that I fish when I'm down here myself. But uh, his his knowledge and his experience of how to fish it and um, where the tides, where the water is going, and it was just really a, a great experience. It, 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 it is always, you know, I've got the biggest one, or she's got the biggest one, or who caught the most. It, it always becomes a, a competition. So if I, you up one or two. That's a big one. That's bigger than I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. It's a mule. Yeah, baby. But I think I might have been the most competitive of the three. Dee Dee refused to be competitive. It's probably a good thing because I think I smoked her. If I was to name anyone, I would have to say that I would get probably my throat cut or tires cut, so I'm not gonna name any people offhand. All right, I think I got the biggest fish. You know, I know I know that Didi probably caught the biggest fish, but um, I think she also caught the most of everything else possible. If, if going off of uh, who caught or had the most hookups, uh, white hat. I know Fran and Yvette wanted to make it a competition today and I think they did have a competition. I think I, I spent more time hooked on whatever the challenge was on the on the bottom, fishing the bottom. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, I don't. I didn't know it was possible to catch the number of things that Dee Dee caught today fishing. I think I'm caught in your power pole. See, All right, look, here, I'm cussing. You're going to have to edit everything I say. It was, a, it was a great experience to be here with, you know, Yvette Girard, the great 
softball coach and you know she grew up in South Louisiana and just has a tremendous amount of knowledge about fishing in Louisiana and she was just really very very experienced and a lot of a lot of fun to be on the boat with I am the winner I am the winner and then uh, Fran Flory our great volleyball coach from LSU and also he grew up here in Louisiana and um, loves the state and has a tremendous amount of appreciation. You know, this is like the second time I came. Yvette and I have, have come down here one other time and, and had a similar experience. And, you know, I, I don't think I understood the beauty of the coast of Louisiana. I mean, I know it's here and, and it's, I think it's a hidden treasure. I think it's amazing, it's beautiful, the people are gracious. And, uh, you know, Everywhere we went, we caught fish. We didn't find a spot we couldn't catch fish. Sometimes it's nice when you're fishing just to relax and, and just make it about the event. Just make it about the experience of, of being outside and enjoying this incredible weather. I, I would have to say it would be pretty much a draw. Uh, we would probably have to have another fish off coming up, I would say. Cheers, 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 to cheers to Louisiana, to the coast of Louisiana, there you go. to Grand Island, there she go, to Captain John Chauvin. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Enjoyed.